The muscle test is to check whether you've been reborn from previous mm -hmm. incarnations with some oh. DNA already rejoined. In an ideal world, That's you'd have non-wobbly muscles. That one was slightly wobbly when we did it on you. I just wanted to be absolutely certain. I'd like to put a little dot on your forehead here, where you consider your third eye might be. Yeah. Put a dot here, with your permission. Remind it's me to wash it off before I go to the pub tonight, will you? Let us unite our hearts in this sacred space. Let us feel in silence the love emanating from and culminating in this sacred moment. Allow yourself to know the perfection of this moment. As you focus on your third eye, Feel yourself submerging into that realm of your being. Each holographically compatible system spins, weaves and spirals in the dance of creation. The masterpiece that is you. If you will repeat this prayer of forgiveness, clearing fear from your auric meridian. Using my own free will. Using my own free will. I forgive all those beings in the seen and unseen. I forgive all those beings in the seen and unseen. Who have controlled and manipulated my frequency. Who have controlled and manipulated my frequency. I let go of my fear of these beings. I let go of my fear of these beings. I am ready to be impeccable. I am ready to be impeccable. I take back my true power. I take back my true power. I am that I am. 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 And that's it. My frequency is no longer being controlled and manipulated. I am ready to be impeccable. So now it's off to Wales, where I will become the Wicker Man. There's two things I've always wondered. Do witches exist? And if they do, what do they get up to in the middle of the woods on Midsummer's Night? Well, now I know. Because earlier this year, a coven of devotees of Wicca, the old religion, invited us to spend the summer solstice with them on top of the Brecon Beacons. This was the deal. We would be allowed to be the first people ever to film a fertility ritual in honour of the sun god, provided I agreed to play the part of said sun god. As I sat at home learning the lines they'd written for me, I couldn't help but think of those films in which the naive hero is lured to some unfeasibly remote place without realising that there's going to be a human sacrifice, and it's him. Wicca, sometimes known as the craft, believes in the duality of the divine, and so worships both the goddess and the horned god. First, I met the women. I told some of my friends where I was coming tonight and that I was going to be spending the, the solstice with some Wiccans, and they said, oh, Wiccans, they're witches, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> Satan isn't involved in this religion no, in no, any way. No, it's to do, really, with the animalistic side of man, mm. the fertility, which has been knocked out of so many religions, the sexual, the life-giving, the profound. Rather, um, the horns represent a sort of an animalistic nature and um, which is revered because Wicca believes in pleasure, believes in lovemaking, believes in affection and generosity. It's not a sterile religion. It's about having a sense of reverence, the divine life force, which manifests in many different ways. It's kind of tuning in. I mean, if you look around at what's here, life's bursting through. It wants to speak to us. We're seeing life in abundance. It's the summer solstice you kind of feel very much in touch with yourself and um, it's rational or integrated and it, it's, it gives you that and it, um, 
again and again. It also gives you the kind of the communal stuff, a sense of belonging with a group of very like-minded people. Even if you don't necessarily relate to um, a stockbroker on a normal level, which I don't, I can work with a stockbroker when they've got no clothes on and they're dancing around in a wooded circle. Fully clothed in the white robe and black cloak of the sun god, I headed for the woods to meet the men. In caverns deep, the old gods sleep, but the trees still know their lord. And the leaves, they dance to the goat god's tune and whisper his name to the wind. And the oak tree dreams of a god with horns and knows no other king. And the oak tree still dreams of a god with horns and knows no other king. Approaches bearing the staff of a king. I am the chosen vessel, the goddesses anointed. By what right do you bear that staff? The, the goddesses' is right. Then you are the chosen one. None may bear the kingship that have not proved themselves worthy. To enter this circle, you must pass me by might and by art, and by strength and by valour. Later I found out that in real life, the green man was a psychologist. Once I'd given him the hiding he'd been asking for, it was time to enter the magic circle. The circle is thought of as a container for the magical energy which is raised within it. Vivian Crowley, the high priestess of the coven, was to play the goddess to my sun king. What if all the kissing was just a warm-up for the arrival of the naked stockbroker? We who gather in this circle at the zenith of the light, we who live and breathe thy nurturing energy, we ask that the simplicity of our ways be honoured, and that all thoughts of the night be stripped away. Blessed be yes. The pulse quickened as they chanted the name of Hecate and other pagan deities. With blade I cast this circle round, be this circle, hallowed. All this business with the sword brought the old sacrifice anxiety flooding back, ensuring that my performance was as tentative and wooden as opening night in the village hall play. I will take your people as my people. I cast off the freedom of the woodland and will wear instead another crown. Then I shall bind you to the people with the ties of self-sacrifice. And we will marry you to the people that you may be theirs in death and in life. And I gird to thee the sword of thy people, but you shall defend them with thy might. And we shall give thee the spear of the people, that you may protect them and uphold the right. And you shall 
we wrapped in the splendor of the sun and be unto them their guiding light. <laughs> 